Hello, this is Claude and today I'm doing an unboxing and a quick review of the uh, TP-Link AD7200 uh, Wi-Fi router is the uh, Talon AD7200, that's the name they gave it. Uh, I'm upgrading myself from the uh, TP-Link uh, Archer C5400 and I'm going to tell you why I'm upgrading. But let's do uh, a quick overview of this uh, world first uh, 11 AD router. Um, so that's an AD router. Most of everybody will not need that, but uh, let me just go through the box quickly. Uh, it's got uh, three bands. It's got the uh, 2.4, 5 gigahertz, and it's got that uh, 60 gigahertz band. Uh, if you don't have an AD uh, able uh, network adapter, uh, that will be useless. So uh, one thing to know. Uh, so obviously, MU, MIMO, uh, multi-user, multi-input, multi-output. Uh, what this means uh, basically is that uh, you're going to have multiple users using the, the, uh, the router at the same time and they will have full support of the router in real time instead of going one after the other. Uh, all of the uh, IHAN uh, routers right now have that, so uh, no biggie. Like I said, multiband. Um, and one of the things that, uh, and I'm going to talk about this right now since I'm, I'm here at the multiband. Like I said, if you are replacing a... Um, a, a, a triple band router, which would be a 2.4 and 2 5 gigahertz uh, bands, there's no point if you don't have an AD in, in enabled device to get that router, all right? Because you will basically lose one band. So you will have a dual band instead of a triple band router. So uh, I would recommend if you don't have anything with AD or short term, you're not going to have any AD network adapter, do not get that. Uh, the 60 hertz uh, gigahertz band as well has a very short range, does not go through objects. So even if you have that, uh, it's something that is more of a novelty at this time than anything else. So uh, this is why um, this may, I, I'm gonna show you why I'm taking this router. I do have a, I just built myself a brand new computer. I've got the uh, beautiful Asus Prime X299 Deluxe um, motherboard. And it does have uh, the 802.11 AD um, network uh, adapter on it. So I'm going to be able to use that AD band. Uh, I'm going to have to put the router with direct line of sight to my computer and I'll be able to use that. So this is why I'm doing that. All right. And it's the novelty as well. Okay. So uh, that's uh, one of the things I wanted to see there. So uh, once again, good that, that. Uh, it's got the 1.4 uh, gigahertz dual core CPU. Uh, it's okay. It's good. But if you look at, uh, if you want to stick to a uh, 5300 uh, router, uh, you've got the, uh, the Asus, uh, the uh, Rapture uh, GT AC5300, uh, the Republic of, Game, uh, of Gaming uh, uh, router. It's got the 1.8 gigahertz quad core uh, chip on it, CPU on it. So this is not the fastest, but it's still pretty, pretty decent. All right, so uh, this is what it is. Uh, also, one thing that is very important before I keep going to the unboxing, uh, there are multiple versions of these uh, routers. There's, uh, and you should go to their website. I'm going to show it on a little uh, screen up there on, on the screen of the website of TP-Link. But there is version one and version two for the Talon router. All right, the 8700. How do you know if which one you have? It's very easy. Is that if you look at this at the bottom, it's going to tell you here. Uh, and I can show you, I don't care the, 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 the thing there, but it's got version 2.0. It's written on the tag. So if you buy from Amazon, Best Buy, online, you will have a hard time knowing if you got version 1 or version 2. And the risk is you're going to get version 1 and the updates on the firmware from version 1 to version 2 are different. Uh, on my uh, Archer C5400, I, didn't, I had the version 1. I thought I was getting the version 2, but I received at home the version 1. No uh, firmware upgrade possible. Well, as the version two had uh, 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 the uh, firmware upgrades. So this one is a version two. And one of the things that you need to know is very easy is that the, the, the version two, sometimes it says uh, second wave on the box, but the, bl the box on the, uh, on the version two is a bluish box. And on the version one, it's got of a green box. So you also, if you go to a brick and mortar store, that's what you do. Me, I went to a brick and mortar store. I wanted to make sure of that because the, the, the other tp link I got, like I said, the Archer, I got the version one and I didn't want to, re online, and I didn't want to risk again to order another one, get the version one. So basically an older generation hardware. 
So that's what it is. All right. So uh, all right. Anything else to say? Easy setup. It's true. It's easy setup. Uh, sharing files and all that. That's one of the things I'm going to talk about. What I like about this, what it does, is uh, that some other uh, routers, uh, you know, you might not do. Uh, is the fact that it has like the uh, the new Linksys EA9500. It just had that returned it because it had only a basic uh, settings. Did not have VPN. Did not have uh, stuff like that. Like advanced features. This has all the advanced features. Let's open this baby. Okay, let's see what we have in there. This is how it looks like. First of all, well, let's see. So you've got this router, it's kind of protected here. All right, TP Link, you've got the antennas that go like this. It's the same thing as the Archer, it's the same box basically as the Archer. 5400 that's how it is these are the antennas all right uh here you've got the different leds uh power the 2.4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz you've got the uh 60 gigahertz band like i said if you don't have ad you will lose that band so might as well get the 5400 we're gonna have two five gigahertz bands uh ethernet internet uh there's a wps and the usb all right this is to activate the buttons to activate wi-fi wps and to show the leds or not which is good i've got this router in my living room and basically i, I remove the usually the lights so it doesn't bother all right uh let's see here on this side what you got not much here i'm just gonna make you got the four ethernet ports uh that's go that's okay uh internet goes here uh one of the things i want to say for your network attached storage uh you'd have two usb three ports the uh, Archer C5400 had a one USB 2 and a USB 3. I kind of prefer having a USB 2 and a USB 3 because USB 3, unfortunately, sometimes it's very unstable. It's like Bluetooth. Sometimes it doesn't want to work and it doesn't work. USB 2 is all reliable. So now I've got two USB 3, which is great spec-wise. If you look at the specs on the spec sheet, it's very good. But in real life, sometimes USB 2 is the stable thing and you cannot fall back on this. On this one, you don't have it. So that's what it is. Power goes here, and then you've got the on and off uh, button right here. Uh, you've got the uh, the thing here, and it says here on, on, under the, the thing, it says, I don't know if it's going to focus, version 2. So you know you've got the version 2, got the latest and greatest on this one. So that's what it is. Uh, also, uh, you've got plenty of ventilation in the bottom. Uh, so I like that because I sit my uh, router uh, on a uh, laptop cooler, and you also have ventilation on top of it, so the airflow can actually go through uh, the device which is I think it's a great feature all right so that's what it is let me show what you got in here quick installation guide that's what it is don't need that you got the little cable here internet cable and you got the power brick that's what it is and there's nothing else in the box it says TP link here that's a nice touch I like that it looks like the Asus uh, modems have the similar type of power brick that's what it is I'm gonna go into the interface and show you a little bit what the interface looks like all right all right, I'm connected to the router now, and I'm going to set it up. And the first thing you do, I'm using Firefox because on Chrome, I've got all my my favorites and all that stuff. So I'm removing that. So um, 192, 168, 0, 1. Usually it's 1, 1, but uh, on these guys, it's 0, 1. Uh, default is admin, admin. All right, so let's see what we've got over here. Um, yeah, time zone. Uh, I'm in Canada and Toronto. So uh, let's do that minus a five Eastern time. Yep. Next, I might make sure I'm recording. Yep. Uh, next. Yeah, that's what it is. Do not clone Mac now. Enable wireless radio. Yep. I'm going to change all of that, obviously, as soon as I'm done. Um, so that's what I'll do. I'll, these are the default. I'm going to change that, obviously, so. 
Uh, there you go. I'm uh, wired right now, so that's what it is. So, uh, yeah, basic. There you go. That's what it looks like. Internet. All right, wireless. You got all your things there. I guess network, if you want to set it up. The USB settings, which is good. I connected something over there, and I'm going to do it. Uh, sharing access. Uh, yeah, yeah, I put the Seagate over there. I need to set it up. That's what it's going to be called. Um, yeah, that's good. And then after that, all right, you're going to be able to see what uh, what kind it is, if it's through FTP and all of this. So uh, that's all right. Okay. And then uh, all of that. Um, print server, if you want to do that as well. Uh, I'm going to put it off. I've got nothing there. Uh, parental controls, that's what it is, uh, if you want to do that. And restrict uh, access with the, depending on the device name. Uh, so we'll do that. You can do that. Uh, TP-Link Cloud. Uh, well, that's new here for me because the AC54, uh, the uh, C5400 uh, Archer did not have that. So this is why it's good to have that. Um, the, uh, the, the the latest version, right? And advanced. Let me go to in the system tool, and uh, let's see if there's a firmware upgrade. All right. So uh, check for for sure there's one. Your firmware is up to date. Well, good. So uh, that's good. All right, so uh, I'm all good with that. So uh, so that's the advance. Let's go in the, the advance of what we've got over there. We've got the MAC address, all that good stuff. All right. Um, so that's what it is, all the different bands. If you go there, 5 gigs and 60 uh, gigahertz and 60 gigahertz. All right, I'm going to go change all of that, obviously. Um, so that's what it is. Uh, network as well. So like I said, internet, this is what you can do. And you've got all the different types if you want to do that. All right, um, LAN is what it is. IPTV, the HTTP server, of course. Uh, advanced routing, this is what it is. All right, uh, you can do the uh, whoops, the wireless. This is all the wireless setting. You can set everything up. This is where I'm going to go change all of that, obviously. Uh, WPS, you want to set up a new device, pin and all that stuff. Uh, statistics. I'm not using that, so that's a guest network, auto guess, and all of this. All right, that's uh, that's always a good thing to do. Device setting, Ooh, this is where it's going to be. Sharing setting, you're going to have that. I'm going to change all of that, so don't try to log into my stuff. I'm going to change all of that. Uh, print server, same thing here. Off uh, offline download, yep. Parental control, we saw that already. Quality of service. So you can uh, change that and put priorities depending on what user you have. So that's what it is. Uh, security. Different settings here. Access control. You can you know restrict access, so that's pretty good. Uh, IP and MAC binding. You can do that. Not forwarding. So this is why some routers have like all the ASUS have this kind of stuff. Um, Unfortunately, the uh, Linksys EA ninety five hundred, which is the, one of the top one right now, don't have that these additional settings. So that's what it is. All right, you can change the uh, IPv six, the different type of connections that you can have. Uh, VPN server, which is good. All right, so the different servers you can have. And uh, if you use, uh, you know, VPNs to uh, right there. If you use VPN connections to. Uh, you know, to connect, like I'm in Canada, if I want to do Hulu and I want to do some, uh, you know, I've got, uh, you use a VPN service, put username, password, you change to that country and all of that, and uh, to the States, and uh, you can watch Hulu uh, and stuff like that. So that's all good to do, all right? So that's important, all right? I like to have that. Um, and system tools, that well, the time settings, diagnos diagnostics, and the firmware upgrade. So it's very quick, as you can see. Uh, it's very quick. It's easy to navigate. And uh, it's very clean, so uh, I really like that. So that's what it is. That's an overlook. And uh, so that basically is for the uh, TP-Link 807200 uh, uh, Talon uh, router. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it. If you disliked it, let me know why. And if you haven't done, uh, if you haven't had a chance to do it already, please subscribe to my channel. It gives me an indication if you like the material that I provide. And it's always helpful. All right. Thank you a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Ciao.